YouTube, Salivate Metal here, and I've got some news about the 2017 Proof American Liberty Silver Medal. Uh, it will be released very soon, coming up on June 14th, and this is the P version, the Philadelphia Mint version of the Silver Medal, and uh, the double dated. <clears throat> it's one of five expected from the U.S. Mint. I was under the impression that it would be four. And it's a celebration of its 2025th anniversary and a counterpart to the $100 gold edition. And as you know, it's the first in a series of biannual issues from the United States Mint that portrays a different um, racial and uh, cultural versions of Lady Liberty, which could go, could go on in perpetuity. Uh, struck to a proof finish at the Philadelphia Mint in an ounce of 999 pure silver. It's due out June 14th at noon. And here is the kicker. It has no mintage limit, product limit, or household order limit for this particular coin or round or metal. <clears throat> the fascinating thing about it is they're not releasing them at all five at once, but just this one. And as you can see, it comes with uh, some very nice packaging that I wish the 2015 medal had. Um, what's unknown is its price. In 2016, the Mint released the two silver medals uh, bearing uh, the same design as a 2015 American Liberty gold coin. Each of those was $34.95. My guess with all that packaging, these will probably be probably close to $50 is my guess. Maybe a little bit more. Probably the same price or more as a proof silver eagle. Four other version, so four other silver medals with varying finishes and mint marks will be released later this year. Those are expected to be exclusively sold within a single set. Wow! And uh, another one from the Philadelphia Mint, but in reverse proof. One from the San Francisco Mint in regular proof. One from the Denver Mint in uncirculated and one from West Point Mint in Enhanced Uncirculated. So that will be interesting and a new thing this year. All five medals are produced from the same silver blanks that are used in making American Silver Eagles. They lack coin-mandated inscriptions providing for a taller obverse profile of Lady Liberty. And really it's not taller, it actually just contains more of the, uh, of the bust design there. They lack coin-mandated uh, inscriptions, as I mentioned. They also go, do not have the 20, 225th anniversary inscriptions, which appear on the gold coin's edge. But they do have a double dated, which uh, embarks back to the, um, the 225th anniversary issue. Uh, the 2017 gold coin and metal designs are the first in a biennial series that will feature Lady in a variety of contemporary forms. <clears throat> now, of course, the actual press release mentioned that uh, Lady, Liberty, Lady Liberty will specifically be uh, rendered in various uh, ethnic or racial um, orientations and along with cultural aspects. For more information about the silver single silver medal scheduled for release, the product page, it will ship in a black matte finished presentation case with an informational booklet. So we'll take a look at that product page here. Uh, I'm going to take a look at a, at a larger look at the design here as well. On the obverse, you can see here that it does extend down to the rim, which I think is a nice uh, look to it. <clears throat> and also, as noted with the gold uh, version of this piece, uh, based off the renderings, Lady Liberty looked quite angry, actually. But here in the silver version, it is it is more indicative of what the actual gold version looked like, and she doesn't look as angry. She looks more content, which is uh, which is nice. That was one of the larger criticisms that I had of the piece. Um, I may get this medal. I'm not sure yet. It just depends because then once you commit to it, as far as collecting, then well, you're going to get one every year, and then all five of them. <clears throat> so here it is. Um, Okay, of the booklet containing the the evolution of our nation's symbol, national symbol. So I don't know. It's something. Um, it's obviously with an open-ended mintage, an open-ended product limit, an open-ended household order limit. More than likely, this thing will not be a numismatic winner. Um, which means that you know it's it's anyone's 
we can get it as at your leisure and and just kind of you know if it's you buy it in the secondary market it'll probably go down in price although me as a collector and kind of interested to kind of see what it looks like i may go ahead and buy one i'm not sure yet we'll see when that time comes uh let's see here so here we see the gold version you can see she has more of a content look on her face there uh the actual an image of the actual coin and another thing that's not mentioned in this article that we should make mention and even though this rendering it does appear to suggest that it's high relief i don't think it will be uh to be on the planchet of the on the 1.5 plus inch silver eagle planchet with a smooth edge I doubt they can really make it high relief, but the rendering here suggests that it will be with that with that long shadow suggesting a concave uh, field there. So, what are your thoughts on this piece, on this medal, the, uh, the proof American Liberty Silver Medal released uh, as a single medal here with this packaging, and then other four being released in a set of different finishes, and the fact that there's no order limit for this one piece but there very well could be exclusive um, uh, limits on the other four post your thoughts below I'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude to y'all for watching and encourage you to please rate comment and subscribe